Location Clash is a game, it's a unique game because we produce hyper-realistic locations with uh, a lot of fish and uh, so every player can uh, enjoy it every day. I'm uh, Volka and I'm an athlete and Fishing Clash. My main focus on daily work as an athlete is uh, to give support to a content team because without a team there are no game. Exciting part of my job is uh, it's, a, it's a feeling that you work in a project that is played by millions of people every day. Fishery is a part where the main action is happening and uh, we try to put um, best effort uh, to make it as believable fishing experience. For me, when creating a new fishery, the biggest challenges are the technical ones, because we making mobile games. I have to remember about the limitations, but it is also great because it forces us to be as creative as possible. Our role of concept artist is to design unique and believable environments which players can refer to, or to take them into places they've never been before. But being a matte painter kind of forces you to be as precise as possible. Uh, if you don't do that, your locations won't be that believable as they should be. Place feedback is uh, crucial uh, when designing a new fishery. We even have like few fisheries which we made with collaboration with the players, meaning that we that we ask the players what they would need, what they would like to see in a game, and then we uh, went back and forth with the, with you know, concepts and uh, well final design even, uh, so they know what are actually getting and they feel like they have actual influence. Content designer in Fishing Clash is meant to find locations, find fishes, and then decide if it's uh, freshwater or saltwater, for example, uh, what's the vibe of the fishery, how does it like look, uh, and then obviously that is moved to, uh, to concept artist. I think Fishing Clash art helps the players in transporting themselves into their favorite fishing trips and locations when they're not able to go there physically. As a 3D artist, I'm responsible for creating uh, models of and textures of fish, for example, mostly, but also there are other tasks such as creating fisheries, boats, rods, other fishing gear. I always have to keep in mind that the assets that I'm creating have to look fantastic from specifically the angles that they're visible in the game. So in terms of fishes that move around a lot, we had, they pretty much have to look good from any angle. I would say that the art in Fishing Clash is always created with functionality in mind and we always try to look for like real-life fishing references. For an artist who is jo considering joining the game industry, I would say go for it. The sooner the better for you, because this is a very creative and dynamic environment. And of course it's sometimes tough, but if you're open enough, you, you will have a lot of fun. Art and Fishing Clash is not just a pretty weapon because uh, we work closely with designers, we do a, a huge research and uh, so Fishing Clash is not just art, it's like a teamwork of 70 people. <laughs>